Yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo. Hey, sorry, I don't got my uh, intro today. Just going to talk about this update, developer number two update that uh, they're talking about this Broken King and what's to come. So, as you can tell, we still ain't getting a Broken King. This is an update to the update to the update to the update to what's going to actually happen, all right? So, from reading it, we're going to read this together. Um, I skimmed it, didn't really read it. I skimmed it, so we're going to go over it right now, and we're going to give you my thoughts, impression on what I think. All right, just my thoughts, man. Just my thoughts. All right. The Broken Kingdom, new heroes, ancient coin, improved crafting features. I like Ken, ancient coin. Did we get that in the, what's that SW game call with the ancient coins? Is it, is it there? Is it, is it? Okay, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right, uh, greetings, salutation, you know, this is the, the, the order of the kingdom of heroes. All right, so this is what we got going on. We got a new hero, one, sorry, two new heroes, Arya and Calypso. That's going to be October, two witches, Arya and Calypso will appear, which is so funny. I was actually thinking of Calypso, believe it or not, because I was thinking about Pirates of the Caribbean. And I was like, I wonder if anybody's going to make a character called Calypso because of Pirates of the Caribbean. And boom, this happened. Just interesting. Very interesting. Weird. Sorcery. Which is sorcery? Yeah, yeah, I don't get it. All right. So with Arya, uh, she used a powerful wide range attack and used annoying continuous damage. We all know that continuous damage is annoying. All right. So get your cleanse up. Get your cleanse up. Use a special skill that is... Ex that can exactly copy the enemy buff and apply it to herself. A la Dryas. Dryas does the same thing. In case y'all don't know, look up Dryas. Does the same thing. Uh, in adverse situations, she's able to use skill 2 and 3 more often. So we're going to see how that plays out. But I guess her action opportunities will happen more often with her 2 and 3. Am I not centered? Let me move this over. What what happened, Bob? What happened? Hold on. What happened, Bob? All right, so we back. All right, cool. All right, so you got that right there. Um, where we at? All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, the ability. All right, where we at? So, uh, the Nat Four Calypso Halloween event. So they kind of tilt their hand of when Broken King is going to be released, right? We're looking at the week of what? October-ish, Halloween-ish, my birthday time. Remember I told you that my birthday I was going to go all out? Um, meaning that I was going to go out of state and go celebrate adult way, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> the adult way. <laughs> hey, mind your business. But uh, yeah. It's going to be a, a Halloween event. So I'm thinking you still got about two to three more, uh, about two more weeks before this whole thing get released. All right. Calypso 4 is a support hero that increased the survival, survivability of allies with leader skills. Excellent for neutralizing enemy buffs. Ability to heal isn't good. It's meh. Compared to other priest heroes, but can provide support and reduce the enemy attack or grant continuous recovery to allies. All right, we've seen that uh, one who comes to mind is uh, that fusion girl. What's that fusion one? The one with the wings. She every time she hits, she, she yeah, that one. All right, um, it's gonna come to me later. All right, so here we talk about the ancient coins. This is what we're talking about: the ancient coins. Added ancient coin changes the craft, brilliant, blah blah blah. All right, and here's a lore of it you know, Morgan used her magic and blah, and there was sorcery involved, and Bernard the Witch type there. Ancient store tab newly added to the store, and the following items will be purchased ancient coin. Uh, oh man, I'm looking at my computer and this at the same time. We purchased ancient coins can be acquired through the crafting, so you can get to crafting. You're gonna to have to sacrifice a five star hero. 
He was of five-star origin and certain crafting material are needed. Holy crap, Batman. I, said, I really was, that's why you keep your, do I've been feeding all my Nat 5s to get my Nat 6, Nat 6s, so. I don't know about this right here. That's still going to have basically every single good thing in it for me to sacrifice a Nat 5 to buy something in that store. It's going to have to be something extraordinarily great. If not, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of them things that you do end end game. This is where you have leveled up all your heroes. And then, for instance, you done leveled up your Esperanza and you don't got no more use for it because she's already fully skilled out, right? By all means, use that. But until then, save your dupes. Uh, you should do some better things, you know. Uh, let's see what the store have first. Let's see what the store have first. Um, the above is currently being tested, and changes may apply to the actual update. Disclaimer: uh, Adjust the material requirement for crafting. Improved material supply improvements were made last month, which nobody really paid attention to because that thing was still booty. But we received comments from our knights. That there are still a lot of room for improvement. Lots of room for improvement. In this update, the amount of material required for rune gem have been reduced. And improvement to craft has been made where resultant crafts are a grade higher than the material used. Excluding superior crafting because superior crafting is only using the best of the best, which is the legendary pieces. So, pretty decent. Pretty decent if you use the blue star. So... What it's saying is, instead of using superior crafting, go with the purple. Because the purple is going to be one grade higher anyway, and you get the legendary. So, I don't see the point of having superior crafting. We're going to see how they implement this. But if, what it says is, is be reducing the improvement of crafting has been made where resultant crafts are a grade higher. That means that you just need to craft purples. You just need to just do the purple ones. That's what I'm reading. You tell me in the comment section what you read, all right? Rune crafting. Reduce the required amount of material for lesser grade runes by one to two-ish. All materials are unified to the same grade for novice, intermediate, expert crafting, and result runes will always be a grade higher than the material used. Once again... Might we just go with purple? Just go with purple. Excluding superior runes because, of course, there's nothing higher than superior runes. All right. Challenge mission. Acquire amount of crafting material. Jewels of the nether. Nether. Has slightly increased. I got me a whole bunch of those. Uh, I haven't used it. I might do a video where I use it. I got a whole bunch. I might show a video one day of me using them. Uh, four, three types of crafting materials will appear as completion rewards. Of course, everything is in testing. And here we go. Season two. Let's get to the Broken Kingdom. Broken King. With the release of the teaser hero image at the end of last month, which was the dumbest thing ever. You did a countdown to a picture. Are you serious? Get your act together. Get your, get your act together. The long awaited content. New Adventures, District, and Story Mode is at the end of development. This should have been when you announced it. This when you should have announced it. Not last month with that countdown crap. This when you should have did it. All right, we love to present with you new contents to our knights as soon as possible. But we also want to make sure that it's carefully polished and complete the game. All right, we kindly ask for your understanding and patience. All right, so I'm going to tell you like this. I came from a game before, we're not going to mention the game, where developers did it that morning at 9 o'clock, and by 10 o'clock it got released without no beta testing and no testing whatsoever. So this is kind of refreshing. So I understand a lot of you guys out there are impatient and be like, I want to get the stuff now. I'm one of them too, but it because we came probably, half of us came from that game, but you know what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? You know what we're talking about. Where they didn't test nothing. They just came out and it'd be all, all garbage. But we ain't going to say nothing, all right? We ain't going to talk bad about other people's kids, all right? We ain't going to talk bad about other people's kids. All right, so here we go. There's new district, District 8 through 13, called Northern Losaria. 
Lo, Lo, Lorasia, Lorasia, Lorasia. Let's go with that. Uh, copyright pending. All right, Dante's Bitor, Bitor. I'm not pronouncing none of these crap. Uh, these are the district. I got Avalon out of the way. I got Crypt out of the way. More rule and VN Maze, VN Maze, BMAs. That's what they call it. BMAs. That's what it is. BMAs. Season two is located in the north side. Blah blah blah. We see it when we get there. We just know that you got different things to do. So let the farming begin. I want to see what a what do we get for completing each one, and would they upgrade the um, the adventure quest mode? So that would be another interesting thing. But new content is coming, and new content is always welcome. New content is uh, content is coming. New content is always welcome. All right. Uh, what's new in the additional district? All right. Cool. Here we go. I told y'all last video. I told y'all. The reason why y'all didn't see nothing. Because they were playing Genshin Impact. And now that Genshin Impact is over with. The little hype. They had to get back to work. I told y'all that. I told you. And this is what you're going to get. All right. In season two. The story of Arthur confronting Igwe, evil plans will unfold along with his journey into the new adventure district. New rune set. Ooh. Billy Goat. I told you before, I, I didn't get to this part. New rune set. In the new adventure district, new runes with different set option will current with uh, set option with current existing runes will appear. We're currently doing performance tests for these rooms. Therefore, cannot provide details. Ooh. We about to get ourselves a uh, a violence set. Ooh. Where you get to go more than once. Ooh. I hear a little, witch, uh, little Richard in it. Can you guess what type of room they are? All right, let me get you. Let me tell you what they are. We're going to see if my guess is right in the future. Ready? They're gonna do some form of um, immunity. They gotta do immunity. So immunity or immunity rune set is coming. That way, when your hero goes first or somebody go first, you automatically got invincibility on. So an invincibility rune set is coming. Uh, what other set are they gonna come out with? They're gonna come out with a. Uh, let me see. They got that. They got that. I, I I don't think they're gonna do like a violent set where you get to go, you know, you have an action opportunity to go over and over again. I don't think they're gonna do that. But we're gonna put that in there. Eh, maybe possibility. Hmm. Put it in the comment section. But I definitely put money on a uh in the uh invisibility set. So therefore you could automatically not get sniped in arena and be good to go. What else would they do? Uh, they would do a shield set also. A shield set to where you can put on your hero and automatically get shield right away. I think they would do that. All right. So let's move on from that. Additional hero growth function. This is that Genshin Impact thing. You know, in Genshin Impact where you had the constellation and each constellation upgrade things. Author is reborn by finally overcoming his limits. Limit breaker, author. AKA Super Saiyan author is coming to the game. His limit and unlock his hidden strength in season two. By confronting the powerful Igwe, blah, 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 and overcoming the ordeal, author ability, and inner self becomes stronger. His appearance doesn't change, but with growth, stats and skills become stronger. Function summary. All right. When all hidden strength are unlocked, hero stat increase significantly. If you got an author, you might want to stop building him. Stop feeding him to the wolves. You might want to stop building Arthur. You know what I'm saying? He is the game mascot for a reason. So now we having a skill, tr a, a second awaken. This is like a second awaken for everybody who don't know what it is. A second awaken. So you go through, you awaken your heroes. This right here is an awakening type deal. All right. Hidden strength consists of several nodes, 
So I guess in Raid, I never played Raid. I never played Genshin either. But I guess in Raid, this is your uh, skill tree. And you get to move and all the other things like that. So it's going to be akin to that. Um, consists of several nodes. And when you unlock each node, a portion of the hero stats will increase as a reward. Unlocking certain hidden strength nodes will increase the hero's skill effect, power, and range. In order to unlock the hidden strength node, new materials that appear in late game battle content are needed. Certain nodes require the same hero as materials. So, dupes are going to be needed. Right now, there's no release date for the hidden strength. I say it's not going to come out with this new update for the broken... It's not going to come out with a broken king update. This is something that may come up for a November-ish, December-ish time frame for people to play more during the holiday season. Broken King is for the uh, the October, get your, get your fun on. And I think that for this right here, you're looking at at least a November, December time frame. It will be given to a portion of heroes, including the author, first, and we will kindly ask for your understanding. To wrap up this October... A Halloween event with great rewards will be released after the update. Please look forward to our new story that will unfold between the land and sea. Additionally, both Gabriel costume and new hero Calypso, the sea witch, will be available through this Halloween event. I was saving up um, my costume for that, but if they're going to give it to you during an event, I could use my costume for something else. Pretty awesome. Check out the attached illustration of the costume, Ilium, Amon, which were not shown last month. Uh, so here we go with that right here. That's Ilium. Hey, that's Jack. Hey, that's Jack o' Lantern. My girl, my girl. And you look ridiculous. You look like John Wayne Gracie. You look like it. You, we could do a roasting session. You look like you really and truly wanted to get back to work after the pandemic and you just decided to find something to do. But look at, look at Jack. Look at Jack. Damn. She, Jack gonna be my girl. Yeah, I could keep her. Uh, once again, Celine from CCG. And we seen the rest. All right, cool beans. So that's about it for the update. Um, let me know what you know, what you think in the um, comment section. I just wanted to bring that out there. Thank you, uh, Demand, for texting me this on Discord and let me know that it's been released. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So until the next one, enjoy.